let's learn a little bit about perimeter. Perimeter is a measure of the total distance around a shape. And for any figure, you would calculate the perimeter by adding together all of the sides. Let's practice by finding the perimeter of a rectangle. So I've drawn one down below, and let's give it some units. So let's say that the length here is 5 meters, and the width here is 10 meters. Because this is a rectangle, you know that opposite sides are equal. So the left side will equal the right side, and they're both 5 meters. And the top will equal the bottom, and this will be 10 meters. So now the sum of the sides equals the perimeter. So what we would do is add together all four sides to find the perimeter. Let's start by adding the top and the bottom. So you have 10 meters plus 10 meters. And then the left and right, 5 meters plus 5 meters. Now the sum of these four sides would give you the value of the perimeter. Now, I just want you to notice something. See here, we have 10 plus 10, and we have 5 plus 5. Well, we can rewrite this entire addition sentence as 2 times 10 meters plus 2 times 5 meters, right? Because you have 10 plus 10, which is the same thing as 2 times 10, and the same thing goes for 5 plus 5. Now, you can rewrite this one more time again, and that's because of the distributive property. And let me just remind you of the distributive property down here in the bottom left. The distributive property says that if you have a number times the sum of two numbers, it is equal to this number times both addends. So a times b plus a times c. So this is a distributive property. And as we can see here, we have 2 multiplied by two different numbers, 10 and 5, and they're being added. So you can rewrite this using the the distributive property is 2 times 10 meters plus 5 meters. And let's find this. 2 times 10 plus 5 is 15, so 2 times 15 meters equals 30 meters. So the perimeter of this rectangle would be 30 meters. You would get the same thing if you did the long addition sentence up here, or if you had 2 times 10 plus 2 times 5. No matter what, you're going to get down to 30 meters. Now this brings me to an important point about the perimeter of a rectangle. And this works for rectangles in general because they have opposite sides that are equal. When you have a rectangle, the perimeter is found by taking 2 times the length plus the width. And that's what we did here, right? We have 2 times the width plus the length, the width being 10 meters, the length being 5 meters. So for a rectangle, this is your formula for perimeter. Now let's use this to solve a problem. A rectangular pool has an area of 35 square meters. Write the possible lengths and widths of the pool and then find the possible perimeters. So to begin, remember that area is the product of length times width. And I'm just going to abbreviate. Length, L, width, W, and area is A. So now from the problem you know that the area has to be 35 meters squared. So what you need to think about is which two numbers can you multiply together to get a product of 35? One factor pair for this would be a length of 1 and a width of 35. And you could also reverse this and have a length of 35 and a width of 1. These would give you an area of 35. Also you could have a length of 5 and a width of 7 and you can reverse this as well to have a length of 7 and a width of 5. So now let's take a look at this first factor pair and try and determine what the possible perimeters could be if these are the measurements for the length and width. So recall that for a rectangle, the perimeter is 2 times the length plus the width. So now what you need to do is plug in the values you have here from the factor pairs, right? So you'd have 2 times 1 plus 35, and this would give you the value of the perimeter if these were the measurements. 1 plus 35 is 36, so you have 2 times 36. 2 times 36 is 72, and because this is perimeter, it's just meters. And you would get the same value of 72 if you had a length of 35 and a width of 1, because addition, when you're doing that, the order doesn't matter. So now let's think about this second group here. If you had a length of 5 and a width of 7, or if you had that reversed. So you have 2 times 5 plus 7. 5 plus 7 is 12, so you have 2 times 12. 
2 times 12 equals 24, and again, with perimeter, you just use meters. So this would be the area if the length and width were 5 and 7. Now let's try another problem together. Jack has a rectangular deck with a perimeter of 12 yards. What could the possible lengths and widths of the deck be? Then find the possible areas. So because this is a rectangle, you can use the formula we've been using, which is 2 times the length plus the width. And we know from the problem that this must equal 12. So what you need to think about is 2 times this sum equals 12. So how can you have a sum, like what would you multiply here, right? 2 times what number equals 12? Well, 2 times 6 equals 12. So what combinations of length and width would have a sum of 6? And let's think about that. 5 plus 1 equals 6, so we can have 1 and 5, or 5 and 1 is the length and width. You could have 3 plus 3, this also equals 6. And lastly, you could have 4 plus 2, or 2 plus 4. And these are the potential length and width measurements. Now let's take a look and say, what would the area be if we used any of these combinations? Well, let's do the first one. What if you had 5 and 1? Remember that area equals length times width, right? So it doesn't matter if the length is 5 or 1. It just matters that we're using these two numbers. So 5 times 1 equals 5. So here you would have 5 yards squared, and that would be the area over here. So area equals 5 yards squared. Now let's take a look at this next one here, 3 times 3. Length times width equals 9. So if he had a deck with 3 yards by 3 yards, his area of the deck would be 9 yards squared. And lastly, what if we had the last combination here, 4 and 2? So you multiply 4 times 2. 4 times 2 is 8. So the area of this deck would be 8 yards squared. In this lesson, you've learned how to work with both perimeter and area of rectangles. Thanks for watching.